Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're gonna do a dry aged, real dry aged in my bag, versus the faux dry aged New York strips. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all you can probably look up here in the I card for the faux dry aged brisket cook that I did recently. Um, I wasn't really too impressed. I just used the fish sauce for that. Um, it didn't turn out really well. I couldn't really tell a big difference on how it turned out compared to the actual real dry aged uh, brisket I did in the past, which there's an I card up there about for that one. So I thought I would do a fair test. I have a New York strip loin right now that's in a new my bag that'll be done in about eight days, dry age for 30 days. And I also have four New York strips right here that I'm gonna actually faux dry age. But today I'm gonna to use the koji rice and the fish sauce. And I've seen some videos and some other posts about the koji rice working better than the fish sauce and that it works even better if you combine the two. So that's what I'm gonna do. These are gonna to have to be in the fridge for at least three days with the koji rice and the fish sauce on it. And then we have to take it off, wash that stuff off, wrap it in cheesecloth, and then stick it back in for another three days. So by that time, my real dry age will be ready to trim and cut up and that's what we're going to do. So let me get these out of the pack, get them all ready, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. All right, guys. I got my steaks out of the vacuum bags, and I got my gloves on. And if you remember from when we did the other faux dry aging, this fish sauce gets kind of stinky. So you don't want to get that on your hands at all, because um, it, it can be with you for a long time. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, get the fish sauce on the steaks and we're going to use our little basting brush here to get a nice even coat. And then we're going to take this koji rice and we're going to crust it just like we were going to deep fry it. So we're just going to get this you know, crusted on there. This koji rice is a special kind of rice from Japan that um, it's got a certain kind of fungus and enzymes in it that... Um, affects the meat that kind of gives it that faux dry age taste same thing with the uh, fish sauce it's got the enzymes in there that affect the meat that kind of give it that dry age flavor so we're going to go ahead and what you do with this you can get it from amazon um, asian markets probably have it pretty easily too but it's kind of like a big cake of you know cooked rice so what you got to do is just kind of squish it all together get it all broken up you do that before you take it out of the pack just you know, kind of break it up with your finger so it's nice and mushy. There's no big chunks. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut it open and put it in a bowl. And that's how we're going to put it on. And when we're when we get it out of the pack, just kind of break it up some more in smaller chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting my fish sauce on. I'm going to shake it up first, just for giggles. I'm going to shake this up. And all I'm going to do is just going to dump it on one side. And then we're going to use the basting brush to make sure it gets coated evenly. Just make sure there's no big puddles of it. Nice, even coats. And then you take your koji rice, and you can just put it right on there. Just pat it right into it. Just like that, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side, and I'll be back. All right, guys, this is the way the process works. We're gonna stick them in the refrigerator, just like this on a rack, let them dry out for three days. We're gonna take them out, wash off the koji rice and fish sauce, wrap them in cheesecloth, dry them off really good, and then let them sit in there for another three days to finish the process. I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, all, welcome back. Today's the day. I got my 30-day dry-aged, New York strip primal here that I am going to cut up 
and the steaks. And I also have my faux dry aged New York strips that are ready to come out. We're gonna cook these up for dinner tonight. My son and uh, his wife are moving back up to North Carolina this week. So this is gonna be their farewell dinner and also her birthday dinner. So thought it would be a great time to try this out. Faux aged versus real dry aged New York strips. I'll be right back. All right guys, first of all, I just kinda wanna show you what this New York strip loin looks like after being in the my dry bag for 30 days. Just like always, it's very leathery on the outside, kind of hard. Fat's kind of turned hard, and but that is definitely a dry-aged New York strip. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. Then we're going to compare them to what the faux age look like. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I got the real dry aged all trimmed up and I know it's not really a fair comparison because they're all trimmed up so they look nice and red and the faux aged looks kind of dark and blotchy but it feels similar to what the uh, dry age feels so we're gonna cook these up I'm gonna throw them in the sous vide for about an hour to get them par cooked and then we're going to throw them on the grill cook them up and compare them so I'm going to do 130 for an hour on all these. I'm going to do uh, four of each so we can give it a nice comparison. See which one's better, faux aged or real dry aged. I'll be right back. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I am going to season these up before I bag them. And I'm going to use the um, Man Cave Meals Beef Moho, which you can get at Atlantic Grill Company. I'll leave a link in the description for it. I love this rub on steak and beef because it's got a little bit of coffee on it so we're gonna season them all the same so we don't have any difference in the seasoning you can smell that coffee when you put it on I'm just gonna put a nice little coat on each side we'll probably do a little bit more when it comes out all right I got these seasoned up I'm gonna toss them in the vacuum bags and we'll toss them to CV and I'll be back all right guys we're gonna bag these up i got four dry aged in one bag four faux dry aged in another bag and we're just going to toss them in the sous vide at 130 degrees for just about an hour get them nice and park cooked up a little bit then what we're going to do i got the fire in the kamado joe big joe over 700 degrees we tossed them on there to get a nice sear on them and these are done we're taking them off we got to eat them up all right guys i had to wait a couple minutes because my son was busy moving. It's likely excuse. Hey, I'm wearing his hat, Squappy's Drone Videos. Check it out on the uh, end screen. You'll see a link to his channel. All right, guys, he doesn't know which one's which because he just walked in the door. So I got one of them is a regular dry age for 30 days and one's a full dry age. And I am gonna actually cut one up. I'm gonna cut a piece of that one, piece of that one. So go ahead and take a piece of that. See if you can tell the difference. How's it taste? It tastes like steak. Yeah? Can you taste any kind of dry age to it? Any kind of funk or anything? We'll see once I try the next one. Alright, take a bite of that one. Which one do you think is real dry age and which one is faux pretend dry age? Real dry age, faux. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. You're wrong. This is the real dry age, 30 okay. days. This is the faux dry age. Do you want to know why I thought that? Why'd you thought that? That one's smaller. Well, they were cut different. This one was pre-cut, and these were cut different. Oh, okay. Was there a taste difference? Not really. Eh. One didn't taste more funky than the other? Not really. No. Well, there Neither you have one it, really guys. Funky. Neither one tasted funky. So, 30 day dry age, faux dry age, no taste difference. So, try it out. See if it uh, works for you. The benefit to that is that you don't have to wait 30 days. You don't have to worry about losing any weight for the uh, moisture uh, evaporating. And you don't have to worry about cutting up, uh, cutting up some of the trim and losing some meat that way. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you like us, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you look at the uh, Fire and Water Cooking Podcast, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. We're going to go eat. There's nothing wrong. Thank you.